Once you have the OrcaView hardware assembled, it's time to set up your software. One of our preferred software vendors is SnapPig. This team is solely focused on providing a fantastic photo booth app experience and have added features to their software that were designed to seamlessly integrate with all OrcaView product models. This tutorial will show you how to utilize their software with any OrcaView unit. Before beginning this tutorial, you will obviously need an OrcaView 360 video booth and at least one iPad. Snapbix software is currently only available with an iPad. We highly recommend that you film your videos with an iPad that shoots at least 120 frames per second for the best results. You may also want to have a second iPad available to use as a sharing station. Utilizing a second iPad as a sharing station is not required, but it will allow your guests to download their videos separately from the iPad being used to film the next guests at your activation. If you do not use a second iPad for a sharing station, your event guests will be able to download their videos directly from the iPad that is used to capture the videos. In this tutorial, we will be covering a two iPad configuration. To start, you will need to set up an account with SnapPig. You can get your account set up for free and create some test campaigns at their website, getsnappick.com. After navigating to their site, click create free account. Fill out your account information and set up a password and click register. SnapPick will send you an email to activate your account. Open the email and click activate your account. This button will open up a new window on your web browser confirming your account has been activated. You can log in directly from this page. After logging in, you will need to create your first event. Click Create Event at the top of the page. At this point, SnapPick will provide you an option to purchase one of their individual event packages or select a monthly or even annual plan. To keep moving forward, you can select the Pro or Enterprise event without having to pay for the event until you are ready to remove the SnapPick watermark from your videos. For this video, we are going to select an Enterprise event and keep moving forward. This will bring us to our event dashboard. If you're using an OrcaView, start by selecting Video Effects. Ensure that the green screen is disabled. On this page, you can also add additional photo booth or sharing station licenses to your package, as well as white label your emails and URLs. Feel free to pause this video to click around and see if you would like to explore any of these options. But for this video, we're going to skip the additional licenses and white labeling and keep on moving. After selecting features, you are ready to enter your event info. Enter an event name. For this video, we are going to pretend that we are loading information for a wedding client. Then add some extra text for your event. We frequently use event hashtags for this field. Add the name of the venue, the event's start and end date and time, and time zone for your event. When you are done, click next, which will direct you to the photo booth tab. In the photo booth tab, start by selecting some event options. While there are some powerful tools here, the majority of event marketers only use email and texting because of how easy these delivery methods make it for guests to get their videos. Feel free to select more options and click around with them if you would like. But for the purposes of this video, we will only be covering email and text messaging. After selecting your event options, set a four digit admin password that you can remember while you are on site at your activation in case you need to quickly get into the back end of your app while you are activating. Before moving on, scroll to the top of the page and click Advanced, then disable the session timeout. This will provide an optimal experience for guests while previewing their videos. Click Done, then click Next. From here, you will be taken on a guided tour to configure the event options you selected in the previous section. As a reminder, we selected email and text messaging. To configure your emails, click on the template library to view the various templates that SnapPick has provided for you to be able to customize for your event. We have provided a zip file of empty Photoshop documents that have been sized to fit each of the image assets in these templates at orcaview.com templates. You can also create your own template if you would like. For John and Kate's wedding, we are going to select the email to template. To customize this template, click edit template. Once in the email editor, begin by working your way down the email and replacing images and text so that the email begins to be catered more towards your event. Again, you can get a zip file of correctly sized and well-organized Photoshop documents for each email template at orcaview.com templates. Start by double clicking on the header image. In the left-hand menu, scroll down and select an image from your computer files to replace the header image. Then replace the header text and the body text. It is important to note that you cannot and do not need to replace this image in the middle. This is just a placeholder image 
and will be replaced by your guest videos when you begin to use the app. I'm going to go ahead and update the footer image as well. Next, you can replace or delete the SnapPick logo at the bottom of the email. And now your email template is looking pretty good. From here, you can click done and then be taken back to the email settings page. Now fill out the information on the right side of the page about who you want the emails to say the email is from, the reply email, the subject of the email, and select your preferences surrounding how guests will receive their video file. Selecting attach file will provide a downloadable attachment to your emails to guests. Linking the image will allow guests to click on the thumbnail image of the video to be taken to a download link. Next, you can configure the text message copy for your guests. It's important to note that you can only have 120 characters to compose a text message that will notify your guests that they can download their 360 video. When you are happy with your text message, click next to configure your photo template. Even though you will be using SnapPick to shoot video with your OrchaView, you need to select a photo template to select a frame for your video. Click on the template library and select either the 6x4 single no frame or square no frame option. You will have a chance to add overlays to your video later, so for the time being, just select single overlay. Hit submit and move to configure the app experience. The app experience portion of the configuration is split into two sections, the photo booth and sharing station. Upload a still or animated background for the photo booth experience. You can download a zip file that includes a template for this image catered specifically to the iPad you are using at orchidview.com slash templates. This image will be seen by guests as they approach your booth and will be seen behind your video recording while guests record their video. After uploading your photo booth background experience, click to hide the title banner. Then move to the sharing station tab. Upload a still or animated background in the same manner that you did for the photo booth tab and click next. This background will be seen by guests as they download their videos from an iPad separate from the one being used to record videos. After uploading your backgrounds, click next to configure your video template. Start by creating a new video template. Starting in the master settings tab, start by naming your video template, then pick a resolution. You can select square, landscape, or portrait style videos. Then you can add a static overlay that will run over top of your entire video. Overlay Photoshop documents are also included in the downloadable zip file at orchidview.com slash templates. If you do not want to add an overlay that will be seen for the entirety of the video, or if you would like to add a video overlay, you can do so in the timeline tab later in this tutorial. In this section, you can also add a preview video or add a soundtrack to your video files. After completing the master settings tab, move to the recordings tab. In this section, we will configure the software to run one or multiple recordings to be added to the timeline. In this video, we are just going to set up a simple recording, but we will post videos later to set up more creative 360 video edits. Start by creating some text to let your guests know that the countdown is about to begin. Then set the countdown interval to three to five seconds. This countdown provides you time to start the recording and then allow the OrchaView to get up to speed before the recording starts. We recommend keeping your total video to around 12 seconds. Since we are going to set our playback speed to one quarter speed slow motion, we are going to set the recording duration to three seconds. Next, we are ready to move to the timeline tab. Start by clicking add, then add an app recorded video to the timeline. Then click to open the advanced settings. Scroll down and set the speed multiplier to 0.25x for quarter speed slow motion. Save your video template and then click next to review your 360 video booth activation information. In this section, feel free to go back and review any information you added. If you are ready to purchase your event, you can do so from this screen. But if you would like to run tests with your event on your iPads before moving forward, you can click pay later which is what we are going to do for this event. After setting up your OrcaView unit and configuring your software, you will need to turn on your OrcaView by flipping the power switch to AC or battery if you purchased a battery mount. Then be sure that the unit direction is set to the middle app option. This will allow your iPads to recognize your unit and start and stop the rotation of the unit from your iPad. After turning on app mode on the OrcaView, Download SnapPick from the Apple Store onto your two iPads. Then open each app and use the username and password you created for your event to log into SnapPick on your iPads. 
Depending on when you set up your event, your event will be listed under the live, upcoming, or past events tabs at the top of each of your iPad screens. Find your event on each iPad and click on it to be taken to your events dashboard. On each iPad, under configuration, turn off still. On the iPad you are using for camera, click select accessories. If your OrgaView is on and in app mode, you should see your OrgaView serial number listed. Click on your unit and when you see a gray bar over your unit serial number, click done to return to the dashboard. As a note, the controller needs to be in app mode before selecting your unit in SnapPick. Click configure camera and ensure that you have the back camera selected. Then click the start photo booth tile in the bottom corner of the dashboard. This will open the adjust camera settings window with the back camera settings tab selected. You can certainly play around with these settings to create artistic or creative captures, but for most standard photo booth scenarios, SnapPick does a great job with their auto settings. So we are going to just leave the settings as is for now. If you are on site and you ever run into a problem with these settings on your device, contact SnapPick directly. If you click on the accessories tab, you can adjust the direction of rotation and speed of your Orca view. When you are ready, click Start Booth at the bottom of the iPad screen to launch your photo booth. After launching your video booth, you will want to set up the sharing station. Go over to your other iPad and click Start Sharing Station. After starting your sharing station, mount the camera iPad using a tablet mount. To start the recording process, click the OrcaView wireless remote or press the foot switch and SnapPick will do the rest, including automatically ending the recording and powering down the OrcaView. You can of course tap the iPad screen to start this process as well. The software and OrcaView unit will start simultaneously. The iPad will count down and then begin recording the event guests as configured earlier. After the recording is complete, the software will stop recording, power down the Orca view, and quickly render the video with any applied effects and overlays, and then send the video off to the cloud. The video will populate on the sharing station for your guests to preview and download. As a note, all videos will have a watermark on them until you pay for your event. To preview a video, simply click on the video you would like to preview. Guests can send the video they are previewing to themselves via email or SMS or any other method that you set up during configuration. Guests who text the video to themselves will receive a download link. Clicking this link will take them to a website where they can view the video or hold their thumb on the video to get download options. Alternatively, if a guest emails the video to themselves, they can click the video thumbnail to go download the video from a website or download the video from the attachment at the bottom of the email. So there you have it. You now have everything you need to capture stunning 360 videos of your event guests utilizing SnapPick software. If you have any questions about the software, contact SnapPick directly at getsnappick.com. If you have any questions about the OrcaView units, we're always here to help. You can visit our website at orcaview.com or shoot us an email at info at We'd love to take care of anything you need.